That's me, by the way. I right. know who that is. Let's go into. Can I make you the host or the co-host? I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, I think I saw that he was the co host. Ugh. Now I can't record. Make me the host. I hit the wrong button. This is not letting me record. Just give us a sec. And I need stronger glasses. <laughs> do you need smiling? Oh, we can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> Co host or host? I don't care. But I'm supposed to be host. Are you co host? Do you want to be host? Yes. I Yes, because I have to do the um, YouTube. Okay. You guys were going on YouTube. And then I'll make you co-host. I just press the host and it doesn't do that. Oh, sorry. I need to press yes. <sighs> See, I gave you the power and you don't even know how to use it. Right. <laughs> now you got to make me co-host. Because I've yes, lost my host. We'll get there eventually. Don't worry. You know, make co host. Yes. All right. So let me, there it is. There's the more button. I sit there going, why can't I find it? Verification code. Okay. Right. Welcome, everyone. Today is April thirteenth, yeah, two thousand twenty-four, and we are guilty. You know, Love. That's Rick and Deb Purcell and Philip Barrow. Most of you know our backgrounds. Rick and I became healers about seven years ago by happenstance, I guess. And a, a very brief story. Um, I asked my guides to uh, find my joy and it uh, created a string of events uh, that uh, 
caused my husband to start seeing orbs and uh, dead people. And you know, eventually the white light came to my husband and merged with him. And uh, that's how we became healers. My husband is connected to source energy. And that is what is projected through him to heal people. I actually get downloads of your information and can see inside your bodies. And that's how we do the healing. It is we are conduit. conduits for source, creator, God, whatever name you want to give him. And that's what started about seven years ago, as I said. And then we partnered up with Philip Barrow and became Heal Teach Love. Bill? My turn? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give a little bit of information. If you don't accept it, that's okay. It's new. So I'm allowed to. Yeah, I'm a a walking. Uh, I'm a walking to. I didn't want to get coded when I arrived here, so that's why I'm a walking. Uh, people who, who get the normal birth get coded and get contracts, and they get the memories deleted. So I've got a lot of my memories, but my higher self or my ascended master self hasn't got enough. Uh, it's got too much, so I can only add certain things. And I was assigned here by the Emerald Order to help with ascension. Ascension is to rescue souls here okay uh i started healing at four or five four to five year old uh started connecting with uh mother earth when i was eight i was actually uh, my parents were told i had brain damage and uh, my first language was light language so uh, that just made it so i did have brain damage didn't it <laughs> if you think about it logically uh, at 12 well between 10 and 12 i started getting uh, trained as the uh dealing with dark uh, energies and dark beings and uh, demons and that sort of thing. Uh, I got credited healing 22 years ago. Uh, I've always been doing healing all my life. I stopped doing uh, tarot cards when I was about 14, but I've got, I, I, I don't mind doing the Oracle cards. I, I've actually got tarot cards. I could do them, but I won't. Do that. Uh, what else was there? I helped with a volunteer at an healing center, which I helped run. Uh, which has been going 20 odd years. I've also just done a Reiki practitioner course because I wanted to see what it was like, basically. And I do a lot of this. I go sound healing every week and I get loads of visions from remote viewing. Uh, that's about it. Is that new? A lot of that, Deb, isn't it? <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. Yeah. Today, so. um, we're going to be channeling for you um, and channeling messages. So we wanted to do something different today, but um, we're going to start off with um, Robert, who has an, an interesting uh, situation going on. So we will do some healing um, because he is in removal. Has can, a demon. Can, um, can I can I just say about I did some oracle cards for you. You didn't. I know that is like fortune. To, it's like predicting, and it basically it is divine guidance, romance, and friendship. And that basically means that you're getting guided at the moment. So you know you will be in a good area. It's someone you're going to connect with in a romantic way. And also friendship is basically you're losing old friends and gaining new ones, the ones that rate at your vibration. And that's, I think, connected with the romance. Yeah, You don't mind me oh. saying that then, Dan? So. No. No. Okay. I thought I'd do it for, for that. I don't know if I do it with everyone. But maybe. <laughs> So a demon. Yes. Right. One thing I wanted to ask: Did you have any problems before, uh, before, before your last relationship? No. It all started three months after I broke up with my ex. Mm. So it's not connected with all your work, basically, all your paranormal. I, I, I don't know. There, there was this one time where I was interviewing. Um, the psychic Liz Cross, and she thought she saw a spirit behind me in the interview. Yeah. And that was right around the time I met my ex. Mm. Okay, so you might, chances are you may have been targeted. You might have been ringing the wrong bells for the dark ones, and uh, they've targeted you, basically, to stop you. Uh, they target anyone who's, who's light, who's high vibration. They do that. They've done it with me. Uh, they won't do it in that again, I don't think, <laughs> what I did to them. 
Okay, I will do some healing then. Just relax. You might feel this. Healing basically removing all the darks. Did she break up with you? Did she break up with you? Yeah. Well, it was like a mutual thing. Um, she was like, it's a, it's a long story. I, I mean, it's, she was like self-medicating to, uh, because she lost two family members and she became distant, which men made me paranoid and we, the relationship kind of fell apart. That's kind of how it went. Just check the back of the neck. Uh, there. Okay. Remember, anything that you feel like that, you're actually manifesting it. You're actually pull, pulling it toward you. Yeah. I do think well, you've got something in the back I of the see, neck. I see a woman and I see... X's on her eyes, and I see. I do so. You see satanic stuff. I see vomit coming out of her mouth, like she's saying horrible things, and it's almost protruding out. It's almost like, and I don't. I've never seen this before, but it's it's not food coming out of her mouth. It's like symbols. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, I didn't. I I didn't know if I should say this, but there was a after the relationship. I met this one girl, and she wanted to be with me, but I, she, I got a little bit alarmed by the way she was acting. So I, uh, I, I, I kind of, I broke it off because like she was acting like really like crazy, and that, and uh, so I, and she, I think she got really mad at me. So it could be this. This girl too. I don't want to say her name. Do you know? Do you know uh, I'm not. I'm not joking here. I didn't feel it was like your ex. I didn't feel it. it didn't feel right when you said that. It didn't feel like it was that. To be honest. Yeah, it's a it, it's a female, and it's and it could be that one, but I don't feel like. But you've got something in the back of your neck here. I have a lipoma there. You're you're absolutely right. Yeah. Or they told me it was a non-cancerous lipoma. It was more than that. It's a spiritual implant that they would look at it like that. But you see the spiritual side of it, and it becomes more like engineered. I'm actually starting to feel something in my liver right now. That's amazing. Yeah, you've got parasites in your, and spiritual parasites in your liver. Yeah, I, I do all those cleanses. I just did a parasite cleanse, but I know what you mean, the spiritual parasites too. Yeah. Like, Yeah. And it wouldn't show on anything. You know, it wouldn't show on x-rays or ultrasounds or anything. Can I, can I just say thank you so much for taking so much time with me? Like, I really appreciate this. Like, you know, like I can have you all guys, all three of you on my show. It's like return the favor. If, That's that fine. Would help. That, you know sounds, I mean? that sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spiritual parasites sometimes when they get destroyed they become you become uh heavy for a day because they've killed, they become physical. When you send a lot of heat into spiritual parasites, they become a, a physical uh but they're dead. That's the point, and you've just got to shift them. But I'll try and get uh, a spiritual friend that can eat eat them if they can. Hmm. Bob. Bob. Bob.
red demons hiding <laughs> into. <laughs> he was hiding when I first tried. Be a shape shifter, actually. Yeah. He has some minions too. This is fascinating. Well, I'm, uh, I don't normally say it on here, but I will today. I'm using uh, the spirits of roots, the spirits of plants, to try and bind the power of what's been attacking me. See, there's one. If anyone's ever tried it, that's the way you can do it. You might feel energy change, you know. I'm getting, Deb, but the girl is possessed by the same, partly, partly possessed by the same demon. It's the same, same link. That would make a lot of sense. I, I see her and her eyes go white. Now, normally they go black, but I think, I don't know why, why they're going white. Why are they going white? You go black when the when it connects. She's got a ta an attachment, which is a link to the demon. But when they're disconnected, and she's in meditation that she's in now, it goes a bit white. It's as though the eyeballs go at the round. They roll back. Yeah, they roll back. And it's not just her. It's, it's a few of them. She's the main one. She's doing all the. I do think it could be the one that you were talking about. It's like they do it like every now and again as a joke, but I think they've uh, they've done it too much. They've done it too well, and they don't realise they've been talking from like magic books, and uh, they've connected, and this demon they've let in, and he's just done an attachment, and he's linked up to it. He can steal the energy when he has, but he can also get uh, get the group to uh, target people that have got high vibration energies. You might feel a release now. I felt a tingling in like my liver and stomach, like yeah. it was the part of the pain was was contracting and tingling, which was so interesting. It's fascinating. It really is. And then I felt like an overall ease in my energy too. To be honest, like I I got like a little bit of a chill. Yeah. So thank that's you. A, that's amazing. It's a release been real the the connections being released that's what it is do you think this is going to take more than one time no. I don't know. it depends if we want to if we want to charge you lots of money <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> no it, be, it should be okay <laughs> Now I can feel in the side because I was getting pain in the side too here. And I can feel a release there too. Yeah. It was like, it was like this, whatever this was, was attacking me on multiple levels, like in yes. multiple areas. Yes. It was just trying to drain your energy. And they had this, this, uh, this uh, implant in the back of your neck, which then just had coils of, you know, just went into your organs and just started sucking your energy. 
And that's is that what they call like like uh, etheric chords? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and they just use parasites to just kind of suck the energy out of you. These connections with Archon with this, by the way, even though it's demonic. Yeah. To be honest, I always think demon, de demonic. Well, it just also it shows anyway. itself as demonic. Yeah. Archons, what, what? The archons are, they're, they're not pleasant. <laughs> I've been out with one. You know the archons are, <laughs> right? Robert, you know Robert, the, you know. Oh, archons. I know what the archons are. Yeah, I, I know the Gnostic stuff. That's yeah. where the connection is. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's weird. Like I, I, although one of my favorite episodes to do when I do podcasts, I love talking about Gnostics and the Anunnaki and like ancient texts and stuff like that. So, and so I, like when you said mine, I have a, I have a real deep connection to all that. Like one of my favorite things to cover is ancient history, you know? So it's like, you know, I can see why that would, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, the archons are not pleasant. Yeah, they're definitely not, right? <laughs> so do you guys, while he's doing this, do you guys feel like that we're in like a matrix and there's like the archons are in, like we're controlling the matrix and there's like a demiurge? Do you follow like Gnosticism like that? Or what do you think? The archons are on Orion. Hmm. They're out of well, Orion. Well, they, 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 that's their base. Yeah, yeah. that's their base, yeah. They, they, they don't tend to come here. They tend to it's like a group of dark beings. They tend to do grades and reptilians. And yeah, we are in a bit of a matrix and we also are, it can, you could call it a soul trap. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And the beings that have arrived, the star seeds that have arrived, the diamond children and the uh, rainbow children and the emerald tribes like me, we'd come here to try and everyone is part of a jigsaw everyone is to rescue because last last time they arrived uh they created a reset and a lot of beings got stuck again because they saw the light they got the memories deleted and they went back in the cycle so there's a lot of ascended masters that's stuck here and they don't even realize they ascended masters to be honest yeah wow so, is that too deep <laughs> well, no, well, well, no, be okay with that. 100 <laughs> <Well, laughs> <laughs> mm. and I'm part of the uh, uh, so. you're part of the rescue team yeah ground crew yeah, some people won't get that but it's fine and then later on in, in on the journey they might that's how, how things happen I'm sure I've told too much I'm being told I've told too much <laughs> so. I've known this since birth by the way and my company is called Emerald World, isn't it? Isn't it strange that the Emerald Order it, is the ones that run the Ascension part, and Ascension is to, uh, like a rescue Ascension. Oh. Yeah, I do think that your, your, your four lower chakras are all to do with grief and fear. And you're feeding what they've done to you. You're feeding them with that. But I'll switch the energies to a very high vibration. Let us know if you can feel it. You're going to get um, a lot of energy from Phil and then um, from Creator or Source Energy. So you definitely feel something. I definitely felt a little rush. Like My team's there, got rid of the demon. It's actually, we've actually sent it to source. Because if we don't, the conscious gets rebirth. You don't want that.
You feel that? I do. You know, your, your cells are being vibrated to try and take any of this negativity. That you, a lot of it is your cell because um, of doubt and grief and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. also also what they fed you. So your energy is just, your, your negative energy is just going in, into the ball, basically. You're very gifted. That's why they targeted him. And now I'm replacing it with uh, the emerald energy. Yeah, I would say I'm like highly intuitive, but I, I can't do readings for people. But I, I know I'm really psychic, but it's not like full blown, you know? You are very intuitive. Um, I think to the point you have, a, you are clairvoyant. Wow. You're Maybe clear I need to cognizant. Work on You're clear cognizant. I'm uh, I'm uh, I am also I like I, I'm clear tangent too, where you, when you touch things you get a weird sense, you know, like when I read I, it. You I read a lot it. of energy when I touch crystals and then but yeah. I used to like my grandmother used to have a really weird couch when I was a kid. It was like one of those like velour type couches. When I would touch it, I would get a weird energy from it. I, I, any type of different object I touch, I get different energies from for some reason. You're extremely gifted. Um, uh, Jeff, exactly, Jeff, exactly. I've been told we, we could give him a download in his third eye. He, he could wake up now. He, I've just sent energy into your grief, into your heart chakra. So I was you, just told that he's one of the lost ascended masters. One of the lost ones? Oh, one of the ones I'm looking for. Yes. <laughs> There you go. Boom. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the ones that is lost. You're one of the recycled. Um, you, you descended here. You lost all your DNA, your 48 DNA strands. Came to is that earth. why I always feel like I don't want to come back to Earth? Like I keep saying, yeah, on my podcast, I, I keep saying, I'm like, I'm, if I have a choice, I'm not incarnating here ever again. Like I'm like, but, but then, and then when you die, you see the light and you think, oh, I'll go there, <laughs> get recycled again. <laughs> yeah, you wake up in a birth canal. When when you die, just just say to yourself, I want to go home. That's all you have to do. You don't have to look with you around. You've got 360 degree vision. You just want to go home to source. That's all. So don't go to the light. I've got have the gut feeling. Yeah, just go home. Just ask yourself to go home. Yep. You're getting a download now. You might get your memories back. Hopefully. I think they're tricking me. I thought it was a download to open up your third eye. This could be a download for your memories to come back. They'll come back slowly, but they won't be fully because when you come here as an, a descended master, you lose you lose 36 DNA strands, but then you lose a load because of the way you've come in from birth. So you'll Something have about you, got, oh, so you guys might find really interesting about me is I had a full-blown Kundalini experience too. I uh, I took mushrooms one night and for like a spiritual experience and I, I laid, I, nothing was happening and I laid down and when I laid down, like I felt this weird energy surge up my back and I had my eyes closed and I imagined like I saw the snakes going up and then uh, all this energy came out and went into my chest. It went in the, out of my chest, into my pineal gland and like exploded out of my crown and like ever, ever since then, like my, uh, my crown has been tingling and my pineal gland has been tingling like at weird different times, like for no reason, no, no special occasion. It just tingles like, like weirdly, you know, you see out of your third eye. Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? No, I, how, no. What would I, mean? I don't think I can right now. When you wake up in the middle of the night though, have you seen things? I've only sensed them or felt them. So I see downloads. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night, my eyes are are closed. I actually see myself getting downloads. Like like the other night, I, I woke up in the middle of a download. I fell asleep at eight thirty at night and woke up at eleven, 
and or at and the like within right after midnight, I was still awake, but my eyes were closed. And that's when they start right. At, that's when they want you in bed by midnight because they start their downloads. You get downloads at after midnight. Yeah. Okay, right at midnight, boom! I start getting a download. I can see it, and I went, "Oh crap! I'm still awake at midnight." <laughs> And I can see the download, and I always check and see if my eyes are closed because you, it's I can see it just like, you know, I have my eyes open. So when you you said you would feel somebody touching your body and doing things, but you couldn't see anything, you couldn't see lights, you couldn't see. No, well, it was just like weird distortions, like you know, like nothing, nothing like uh, I never saw your it. Eyes, your eyes were open or closed. They were open. Okay. And and like it would be weird because I, I would felt like I would like double, I would like blank twice. I'd be like, am I really seeing something? But then I, I would I was like questioning it. You know what I mean? Like I would see stuff like like faintly, but like I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't like seeing it like full on. And I was questioning whether I was in a dream yeah, state or if I was in, in a reality. Don't ever question. Trust everything that you're seeing and feeling. Because you know, it, when when Rick started seeing things, they only appear for just a few seconds because it's a lot of energy for them to produce themselves in physical form. Yeah. Hold it for very long. Like, you know, he was brushing his teeth and yeah. Jesus appeared next to him. Yeah, just, wow. But it's only for a few seconds yeah, and then. It's not long at all. But I just, I saw. I saw, I've been seeing orbs like white shooting by me, like lower level, like right around the last few days or since my aunt died. She's been zooping by me, you know, and she's appeared at, she started talking to me during the funeral. So I know, I mean, she's playing games, <laughs> she's playing games with me. That's and interesting. She went to the light finally. She went to, to source. Unless she's harassing my cousin, her daughter. <laughs> she's a trip. Um, but so you got if with this download, you may start seeing through your third eye. Your your third eye may have it probably blown open. But don't oh, be surprised. Don't be surprised. Yeah. It's, a, it's great to see other things too. Yeah. You've got a lot of gifts, a lot. And it's considering you're an ascended master. I call it descended. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were a shaman when you were um, in the, when you were a Mayan, you were, an, you were a shaman. So you were a healer. That's interesting. It's interesting that you did mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've tried to do things to like open up my third eye. You know, I've done DMT too. And when I did DMT, I saw the, uh, like the, I, what I would call like a geometric pattern of the matrix, you know, like it like, wow. every, and then when everything looked fake, it was very strange. You know what I mean? It was, uh, it was very, uh, I, I I I see geometric signs things all the time. So uh, that's a big sign, guys. I don't uh, not all the time. I see it occasionally. Um, I'll see it. It used to come a lot. Uh, about two years ago, I used to see the geometric. It used to flash by, but I don't see it as much anymore. It was almost like the emoji stuff, you know. It was weird. Not exactly like emojis but it was like symbols like that i see like uh, cho like a chinese is it cho is that yeah, a word that's it like ta tables of that no but the name cho c h o u mm. it's one of your lives mm. is that mm. such a thing <laughs> probably Okay. Or Choi. Yeah. It could be C H O A. No. How do you feel now? I feel better. How does the yeah. room feel? 
Let's see. Air okay, I, I feel the energy feels lighter. Yeah. Good. Thank you. That was amazing. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to move on. Well, we're doing a second one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Robert. Anyway. Yeah. yeah that, thank you. That was amazing. That was uh, I was really, I was, I was really glad I came today. This was uh well, I'm glad you came too, and we met you. Mm. All right. Yeah, thanks, so, Joe. Joe and Joe, uh, Joe, Joe was the brother who brought me here. So we're from the same city. We're both from Pittsburgh. So Jillian's a Jillian's one of my favorite people. She cracks me up. Robert, we love, you, we love if, her dearly. If you just check Ascended Masters, and see which one. Uh, I think I know, but I've been told I can't tell you. You've got to find that. Okay. Yes, that's your next move. Is just find out which ascended master that you are. Well, it's related to this Cho or Cho or Cha or what some C H O U, I think. So just check. I don't think he is, but I think that's one of your previous lives. So whoever that ascended master is, is you, you know, you might be able to get the history of it. Hmm. Kimmy, 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 Kimmy. Just one sec, one sec. I've, I've got some else. That's partly why you've got grief in your heart chakra, because you don't know who you are, <laughs> but you know you're there. Yeah. That's why. Sorry. I, I was giving that yeah, info. So that's a good thing to release. You yeah. don't need to have any more grief. Now you, grief, now you, grief. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> grief is, um, <laughs> that you carried on so now you know that you're an ascended master you can release that i think what it was i think because the reset happened when you were there that's the grief that's the trauma you gotta get over if it, to you deep down you failed but you don't know what you failed and you just gotta get out of that sort of failure and many thousands well millions did anyway so yeah okay, okay. all right Sorry about that. all right kimmy Hello. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Is there anything specific you want to know or do you want us to do or uh we'll make it hard? <laughs> okay. We'll make it hard. Uh well it's interesting when Robert was talking about his side. Yeah, I'm gonna ask about that. Um so I've had this sense or feeling and I do breaking of contracts and I, I've been studying star magic. I came across Jerry Sargent. I don't know if you guys are familiar with star magic, but um, I thought for sure Philip would know about Jerry. He's from England and he has a, a healing school and they, they teach hologram work and we, we work with holograms and uh, the quantum to to pull up remote viewing for healing people. So I started practicing that last February. Um, that's just a little backstory of energetics, but something shifted in me this year practicing. And I don't know if I got a creepy crawly or something, but if you guys could scan, let's just keep it clear, scan. But I feel like there's some kind of energy holding my it's right side behind uh kind of where kidney kidney meridian is yeah I'm, I'm seeing a parasite is it a parasite is it worms in me do i have i no, feel... no they're normally spiritual but we'll check it's a spirit okay. it's, i think it's yes a scan me would you please i'm just feeling like i yeah. i'm having you're a scanned. hard time you're scanned. My doesn't yeah. take that long <laughs> okay, cool. I, i've done a, a oracle, free oracle cards you got to forgive Forgiveness, you're angry with someone. You've got to surrender, release it to get manifestation. So, there you go. so okay. surrender, release, something to work. Yeah, work okay, okay. Yeah, it, the parasite is as long as it goes from the, behind your rib, underneath your rib cage, around to the front. It's a pretty long one. Do you get stomach ache? I'm getting stomach ache as I'm doing that. What, why did that door at the back move? <laughs> that was that was my cat Obi Wan. Uh, this is go. my cat, which is awesome. <laughs> Gotta say hi to my cat. <laughs> Gotta say hi to him. Oh, are you the ghost? Are you, are you the ghost then? 
This is cat. Okay. Obi-Wan. That's him. Okay. Anyway, um, do I get stomach? I have problems with my digestion. And here's the weirdest thing. My mom and my grandma, they, they swallow those pills where they have a, they take a movie, like the camera's a, the pill's a camera and it goes through your body. I never knew this about my family. And I, I knew we were all full of shit, but literally my mom and my grandma have two and a half extra feet of intestines. What the hell is that? Were we spliced before we descended here? I don't know, but I believe I have that same issue. So our challenges is, is we have this like forever digestion thing going on always for me. That's been my challenge. So I don't have stomach aches, but growing up, I would eat. And I always throw up, throw up, throw up. Was that an emotional field from a uh, lack of attention? I'm not sure, but I had that for a long time and, um, cleansing and doing more spiritual cleansing that has gone away i don't get that anymore but something maybe is in there with the stomach you mentioned one one thing you mentioned about star magic uh the creation of magic is like the magic land or the magic planet so it's probably that to be honest and that's where merlin got his power and that's where saint germain got his power got from source from there so there you go so it might be linked to that. I see an issue with your intestines. Yeah, a lot of it's come over me, though. <laughs> so I might have sorted that because it, I draw the negative energy into me. So you should be okay with that. Think when you were a little girl you ate too fast that's why you threw up that's the message i'm getting do you see if my mother left a cup of bleach out i'm being told i don't know if it's related linked to bleach but you were eating the wrong food as well and you were, you did it deliberately and i think your spirit your soul why did it leave a cup of bleach out my mother left a cup of bleach out two times and i drank it as a child and was taken to emergency oh my God. once but twice and just get your, pump, your stomach pumped yeah i that's the story i was told i don't know what to believe on the family side honestly but i've been told that yeah. and i have this i, I have this had my stomach pumped when i was a little girl too i had this i have this freak out i it's weird i swim in a pool every day I, I do go swimming but i have this thing where my mission on the earth is to take on the chemical companies because i can't stand synthetic chemical chemicals like i can't be in a room with someone with laundry sheets on their body or any perfumes that are not congruent with earth you know what i mean like that are that have this intention behind it that is just i i have this panic it's i know it's a it's a mind thing as well but it's also a meter for me to to smell out toxic stuff. yeah you you do know where well, you should know this you gotta forgive your mom and forgive yourself for holding that energy yeah 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 you, you know that anyway yeah 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 are you also, still okay gotcha and then there's another thing that's physically been happening is I've been getting 
itchy toes, itchy toes, itchy toes. Whoa, my thumbs are shaking right now. Weird. Okay. What you could do would be when you, you could start uh, bathing your feet in borax solution. I do. I do that. I do it all the time. <laughs> You're awesome. It does help. Yeah. <laughs> With Epsom salt, both of them. Epsom. Maybe don't. Maybe don't use so much. Maybe you're using too much. Is it drying its skin out? It is pretty dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Borax. I do yeah. borax. I do vinegar. I've done charcoal. I do clay. I do spirulina pads. Maybe, do... maybe your skin's coming off. I think you may, maybe <laughs> you're doing a little too much. <laughs> not 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 that much, but I. I yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not that uh, often. Not that yeah. often. <laughs> I was going to say, don't, don't do bleach. Sorry. <laughs> I know. This is weird. I was not going to go this direction, but okay. You never know. Mm. <laughs> also, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Try a little coconut oil on your feet. Yeah, yeah. I do castor. Castor and calendula. <laughs> Good one. Um. It, there's nothing wrong with your feet other than maybe overdoing it just so you know just put the oil on and, and maybe hold off on the other stuff maybe do that once a week okay gotcha yeah or maybe twice a week but maybe. yeah yeah i'm not doing it all the time it's okay. yeah it's about that about once a week yeah i don't see anything wrong What, do you see my third eye at all? Can you see? Well, I'm, I'm not looking at the moment. I'm just doing healing. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So Even good. though it's not an healing lesson. <laughs> it's, it's winking. It's winking at me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> how many? How many questions you're going to have today? <laughs> yeah. <too many. laughs> you, you always six grand at the moment, but it's okay. <laughs> Zipping it. <laughs> okay. Um... I, I don't see anything wrong with your third eye. Looks great. It only opens when it needs to. Everybody should understand that. When it it opens when they need to send you a message, you need to receive a message. You need to see something. They need they want you to see something, your higher self. Your vibration has to be high, high enough for it to be open to. I just got that message. Oh. You might feel a download going in your third eye now. There you go. May feel some healing in your hips, your knees, and your ankles.
Papa. All right. How do you feel? Yeah. Like, uh, my hands are numb and I got, I feel like light language is starting to push in throughout my mouth. Okay. Go on. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, I don't even know what it is. It's like coming, it's like, it's like I get this tension through my jaw and then it starts shaking like crazy. And then I don't know what to do. Like, it's not like I'm doing anything. I'm just surrendering, but it's just like, it's like pressure building up in my head. How does this, this is how it feels. I'm not sure. And my hands are totally cold. <laughs> it's like I'm accessing some other, I just, and my and it's like pressure right here in this area of my neck or my back right here well make sure you drink a lot of water because the healing energy stays with you for a week okay all right yes thank you very much You're welcome thank Be you Bella. did you Diane? just have a did you want a message or did you? What, what did you say? Hmm? What did you say? Did that we just? Did you have a crystal? Was there a citrine? Did, were you just holding a citrine crystal? Uh. No. No. I lost, okay. I lost one. You lost a citrine crystal. You might have been using it, Deb. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, okay. <sighs> Something. Uh, yeah. No, I lost a green crystal. Sorry. That's it. Citrine's orange, right? Citrine, yeah. It was like white, yellow. I saw some kind of white, yellow citrine. No, mine's oh, citrine. A, a Maybe I need some citrine. Green okay. crystal that's this long. It was on a pendant and it fell off the pendant. Oh, was it a labradorite? A labradorite? It was a it was a green amethyst. Amethyst. Okay, okay. And I don't know oh, where it is. I've got some jade. Oh, this next to the phone. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what I was feeling. That one. That's it. Oh. You, if you want to send your cat. Wait, say that again. I have a mouse too. If you want to send your cat over, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little mouse. Poor little mouse. You I don't like it. Have it's you named it yet? <laughs> I love mice, they're, they're nice mice. <laughs> Oh while 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 I connected then some energy was released from your, your stomach. There was some. Some that we didn't see it, old stuff. I could feel it. Okay. Something even on though, the e even though we're not healing. <laughs> Deb. Yeah, yeah. Thanks oh, for not healing. It's awesome. <laughs> um and the right side I can feel like there was like some wiggly in there, mm -hmm. like some movements happening. So thank you so much, bless. <laughs> oh, thank you. Diane, did you did you want some work done today? Hi. Yeah, I'm not sure. I wanted to try and connect with my loved ones in spirit. My wee dog passed away a few weeks ago and I just wanted to know if he's okay and if they have him. Who passed away? My dog. Oh. Oh. Oh, that sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> I, I'm getting he hasn't left yet. Is it an E? It's a he, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm getting he's not left yet. So. Oh. Have you been seeing him out of the corner of your eye? Um, I feel like I have. And my other two dogs have reacted strangely sometimes, so I felt like he was still around. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he hasn't left yet. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was okay? quite old, wasn't he? You had him a long time. He was. He was 16. Um, you guys did some healing on him when he was yes. 13. And uh, so we got an extra three years with him, which was amazing. So He was so sweet. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He loved you so much. <laughs> I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, we he, miss him. He, he's around because of the grief. You're still holding the grief in your heart, right? Yeah. So he's, he's just staying, staying back for a bit. Did I hear a dog then, by the way? Yeah, sorry, it's my <laughs> other dog. <laughs> just checking, just checking. <laughs> Wasn't them. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Don't want you to cry. Jesus, he is talking. Uh, Don't want you to cry. I don't want you to be upset. I had the best life. I was well loved. I'm they reincarnate they reincarnate really quickly. Oh good. I'm afraid to leave because you are so sad. Oh. Yes, so what have you done with his favourite toy? You haven't left in a cupboard, have you, or a drawer or something like that? Um, his might be, yeah. They have, have another two dogs and they have toys, so his might be still in his box. Yeah, just let it out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Isn't it? So. <laughs> he's he's sending this loving energy to you like it almost wants to make me cry because it's so overpowering yeah. it's so loving he wants you to feel the joy that he had just being with you and your family because yeah. you know how dogs are they love us no matter what yeah. and they only know that love that they have for you yeah. because you are I mean they're just such happy creatures they're just such perfect love mm -hmm. and that's what he felt he had the best life he couldn't oh, ask for better people to have him as you know their his parents or his oh, that's the, lovely. To, to spend that life with and he knows how much you miss him so he's stay, he's hanging yeah. around as long as he can oh so... And he's just sending you this any energy of love and gratitude for it. It's lovely. And he says thank you oh. for being you. We for thank him you. for choosing us. He was special. If you accept that love, the grief might just start getting replaced with that love. That's why he's sending yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. He was a beautiful animal, beautiful yeah. inside. That just, you know, but I told you that before when we were here, yeah. how much he That's loved right. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> and he's still the same. Yeah, oh, good. He's a beautiful, beautiful animal. He's, yeah, I hopefully he'll they'll when he reincarnates it'll he'll find his way back to you i don't know what he's gonna be oh that'd be amazing it would be amazing mm -hmm. i keep ask, asking archangel michael for my ziggy back oh cool i want him back no what what a suggestion when you're ready just tell him he can go now okay yeah yeah just tell him he can go. He's still around you because I know that our cat, Oreo, that we had for 20 years, he was around for weeks and I kept seeing him. Well, I get a week just if you're ready, though. 
I, I had a I had a dog at five a.m. in the morning. I tapped him on the side and I said, "You can go now," and he died. Mm -hmm. He actually died when oh, I said, "You can goodness. go now." And I mean, I'm going back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave I'll leave the the dog in the bed. I, I just couldn't <laughs> believe that he actually left when I actually said, "You can go yeah. now." So he's just wait waiting for me to let him go. So, oh, yeah. Sad, really. That's they're incredible. They're just incredible. These. These dogs and cats and our our Bird. fur babies. They really are yeah, incredible. Yeah, definitely. They're so loyal and loving and they don't yeah. know anything but love. They're unconditional. Mm. Yeah. So great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're so welcome. Thank you so much. All right, let's see who's next. Deb. Me? Me at Deb. the end and you at the last one. Deb. Gabrielle is next. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. You want to hear from your higher self? Oh, yeah. Whatever comes through. Do you know I, I've got a new I've got a new theory on ISL. Why am I getting feedback? I have no idea. Uh, I believe it's the old self is your ISL, and the old self can't come into this body because the body is not big enough. That's why I, I don't know. My body's pretty big. <laughs> I was just so, like, who's jumping at the bones? Like, I've missed talking to dad. I kind of wondered if he had a message for me. I've been just trying to take stuff day by day. Oh, you want your dad? Oh, I mean, that's why I was like, I have different questions. Oh, okay. So you don't want your higher self, you want your dad. And I, I've just got the answer a bit on the cards, actually. Yeah. So, follow your intuition, guidance, okay? The second car is when you do that, follow, go into nature, yeah? See, I'm giving free cards tonight. So, connect <laughs> with nature, and you will see the signs. You've asked for help from us, but you could get all that by just going in nature. Because you're getting divine guidance and signs. Okay. But do you want to carry on, Deb? Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Thank you, Phil. Yeah. Was that okay, that? That is part of it. Did he call you Honey Bunny? He would call me like silly stuff, like Sweetie Pie, Honey Bun. He'd he be just came, He just came to me and said, Honey Bunny. Well, I, that's, I'm just wondering if it's him. I don't yeah. know. I I don't use the term honey bunny. Yeah. <laughs> now he's saying sweetie pie. Yeah, that was the more common one. I said, I just want to make sure you know it's me. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm 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 glad to be able to talk to you. Yeah, I really missed you. <laughs> He's act, he's actually saying he's proud of you. Uh, he's he likes the pup you now taking. Yeah, I've been standing up for myself more. I know he loves that. <laughs> uh. Well, he says nobody respects a doormat. Yeah. That's a fact, because that's what I'm starting to feel like. I'm just like, gosh, I'm the only one trying here. And, um, I don't know, I always like to, like, try as, as hard as I can, like, until I'm done, because, like, I don't like to ignore the fact that I still have feelings for somebody and just try to just, like, push past it and start, you know, dating other people. I still felt like I wanted to make things work, but, like, even earlier, he was like, you know, we got into it again, like, I'm like... You can't even just chill before the webinar. I'm like, 
I'm trying to get us some sage advice here and you want me to take blame in our breakup, but you know, you're the one that wanted me leave. You didn't want to do the work. You know, you wanted to shut down. You don't want to the trust issues with what happened. His ex had been messaging him and normally he would tell me all the things and I saw that there was like paragraphs between them and it like triggered me and I'm like, well, can you just tell me everything or just show me the messages? Cause I'm feeling really insecure right now about all this communication over some old stuff. And he was like, if you're going to be insecure, like I can't do that. I had X and I'm like, that's an excuse. Like, let's work on the now moment. Like, what are we going to do? And I feel like he was being flirtatious with her and he didn't want to show that. And he deleted the messages and ended up hooking up with the girl after. And I was like, you know, you can't just move past me and act like that. Like, that's why you're so feeling like ick, you know, like you, you're doing what you would normally do, but what we have with each other could be something special, but I feel like I'm the only one that's trying to do the, like the higher timeline thing. So I'm trying to accept that and figure out like what my new, uh, like future picture looks like, cause I'm staying here right now. Do you know, I could feel the energy of that in my heart chakra. You, you've released it by telling us all. Yeah. Yeah. You've released that and you needed to release it, but I could feel it actually. Yeah. And that's, yeah. yeah. It had been like hurting. Like I started talking to him again and it was like, I could feel my heart chakra. I was telling him that I'm like, I felt like all that rumbling of pain, like knocking around. But I feel lighter now. Remember to go in nature. You can father get the said, signs. Your father said your self-respect. You need to remember that. If you don't respect yourself enough to say goodbye, don't call me again and stop calling him. This, this is not the person for you. This is not. If he can't be faithful to you in, in, when you're living together, why would you want this man? I was hoping that he would tell me the truth because I know I can feel it. Like somebody he, that somebody that's cheating on you is not going to tell you the truth. They're they're lying. They're I think that's something I need to break away from because that's kind of been a pattern for me. Like I find people that do that, and I want them so desperately to just. Like, let's move past this, you know. It's the, the, whole, the whole thing uh, is you want desperate, but you're desperate. Stop. Yeah. Stop looking. Go in nature every day. See the signs. Get the divine guidance. Release. Get a new life. Yeah. I think a year or two ago, I, 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 I said... Let your guides bring the man to you and you start, stop looking. You didn't listen. You keep looking and you keep choosing. Yeah. And then what do you choose? You choose the wrong. Yeah. Let your guides I, find your joy because the, obviously you got a sucker magnet here. The other yeah. thing is the vibration you are in attracts the vibration you receive. Yeah. Exactly. I just thought that. <laughs> That's that what true. you thought. I'm thinking if I can just get my that. own place, and now mom's in the situation, and now I'm just like, I'm like I could sit at the atrium, like this college place, have my own room and bathroom, and just share kitchen living room area for like four fifty, and I could save up and get me an RV or something that could just be like mine. It has been like my plan. I guess but get like a piece of land maybe I could put it on Na nature um, connect with nature it'll yeah. do you miles good yeah uh, have a relationship with nature yeah. yeah I will like out here there's more nature I tried to do it away from the kids so it wasn't so loud so I'm on the porch but literally I was gonna do it outside underneath the tree but it just got too loud so you guys are totally spot on there. And then look, 
Ellie brought me flowers today from outside. I was like, there's so many flowers. Come check it out, Gigi. I'm like, oh. So that resonates. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Listen, just trust that your guides uh -huh. can help you. And your dad is, your dad's close by too. You can always talk to him. I know that you don't hear him yet. Yeah, I thought it was have more of that going on but I get why I don't right now I gotta switch up my vibration but I'm you know it, he's always going to be proud of you so don't think that you can do something that's going to make him not proud of you these are all lessons <laughs> everything's a lesson it's not that I just missed him he was like my person I know Like that, I was, that was his contract that was his time to go that was his contract yeah. that was when he said he you know that was, he, he had done his experience and that was when he said he wanted to go before he you know, he sat down with his guide so yeah nobody goes before their time so true okay. I was going to say, it depends what you have, but I won't go on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, there's, a, there's different timelines, though. I, mean, yeah. I understand that, but on this timeline, that's what's his contract. Yeah, I know. I just be missing him like crazy every day. It's not a day I'd go without thinking about him. But I see signs and stuff. I just, I miss him like crazy. I know. Oh, no. I was hoping I was going to have something like that. And I just, yeah. It was nice. Like, I get the lessons in it. Like, I, I have been reflecting on that. Like, certain things that I didn't experience before, you know, that I can tap in more to now than I did. Oh, well, yeah. You've just got to know that our soul lives near enough. A, well, I won't say forever, but a long, long time. This is just a. This is just like a suit. That's all I want for it. Yeah. Let me just change. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna feel more like myself soon. I just gotta give myself some time. No, no, you are going to be yourself. Not soon. No. Why? But connect with nature more. Well, yeah. Listen to we'll the divine do. guidance. Hey, I'm going to go on a walk after this. Watch the signs. See the signs. Sometimes when you walk, you only see from your brain. See from your heart, and you see a lot, lot more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Deserve so much more, honey. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. It was so healing mm -hmm. to just have, like, Fellowship with you guys. You're welcome. Stand in your power. Yes. I love you guys so much. And I appreciate having this time with you today. And I'm going to send that payment over. Your, dad, your dad's there for you. And he doesn't want to see you all this upset. And he's always proud of you. Mm. He's sending Thanks, lots buddy. of love. He's sending you loving energy. And a big hug. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Jillian, you're the last. I'd like you always want to be. I, I was just going to say, at least you got a mouse and not spiders this time. So that's good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mouse is like in the oven. Not like that, but it's kind of weird, but whatever. Broiling it? Broiling us? No. Make it.
no, no, no. I'm trying to get them out, but it's kind of like, don't chew up my oven. Please. Good way of getting it out is just turning the oven on, I suppose. <laughs> no, I like murders in the house. I'm trying to clear everything. No, the eat will get it out. <laughs> What's going on, DJ? Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris sent $5 too, but he's not here. If you want to do a message for him, and then um, I wrote. Uh, you got a picture of Chris. And we got to do you first. Okay. Yeah, you first. Is he coming? Is he showing up? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, I'll just get his message. We're doing Jillian first. Okay, we're doing Jillian first. A message for you, Archangel Michael says. He's, <laughs> he's rubbing his hands together. Michael. <laughs> he said this could be good. They're going yeah. to set. They're going to send you dreams. Start listening, and you can perform the miracles. So, yeah, I dropped one. She never drop oracle cards, but I did. Jeez, where's my cards now? <laughs> yeah, this thing. And they're upside down. I guess that reverses it. Dreams, <laughs> miracles. No. You can you can manifest your own miracles. So. Your dad was an angel. Mm. He said you're going to find that really hard to believe. <laughs> but not quite an angel at the moment. <laughs> Did you know that? Which dad? The one that uh, sold cocaine. <laughs> That's very angelic. <laughs> <laughs> The white light right now. <laughs> I don't think you get Archangel Coke. <laughs> Ready? You might do. Hey, it's the higher realms, you know. Archangel but... Michael says, you know, when you sit down with your guides, you put down what you want to experience. I'm back, back in a sec. The dog wants me. Back in a sec. Yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't mean that you have to be a good person or. Yeah. A follow a specific rule. No you judgment. You just want to do an experience and you want to be able to experience being human. So you put down these experiences. So what kind of yeah. it angelic? Does it mean that it's going to be good? All good. Sit down, huh? Right. <laughs> So your father is now back in the angelic realm and he's now smiling going this is a shocker for her <laughs> I, lo I love my dad though but he's going surprise honey <laughs> I could see that <laughs> hello sorry about that me, me dog conned me. I thought he wanted to go to the toilet, but he he's wanted just, to. He, he wants says, food. He's gone. He says, uh, I don't see Rick James around, though. <laughs> he didn't make it. You have to go again. <laughs> yeah. He didn't see Rick there. He's just joking around. <laughs> he's just joking. Is like my is my mission and his mission is like connected or uh are they separate or he said your mission is a lot tougher than his. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said, damn, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. You I'm proud of my dad too. Yeah, he says uh he said, you one, he said, you're one tough chick. <laughs> yes, indeed. Undefeated. Mm -hmm. He said he would never mess with you. 
Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> we were a team. Mm. And I'm too truthful. Yeah. Yeah, he says he's puffing out his chest going, yeah, if I was, if I had an ego, he goes, I'd be really proud. <laughs> he said, I'd be strutting around if I knew all this when I was a human. Yeah, he's really happy. He's uh, doing great. But he, it's Archangel Michael, that's when he, that's why he was rubbing his hands together like this, laughing. This is going to be a shocker. <laughs> Interesting twists. Yeah, the plot twists. <laughs> yeah. Um, and do you know what I was doing in astral this eclipse week or, you know, beyond? I feel uh, pretty well, I, I, I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I've got a big job here. You're deliberately put around dark stuff because you clear it. You might get affected and you might get attacked and stuff like that. But every time you get attacked, you're clearing it. You're taking it away. Yeah. yeah. The eclipse, a lot of people might have felt a bit weird and felt very dark. But what happens with the eclipse, the energy is very strange. And there was a lot of manipulation, but cells were vibrating inside people's bodies and negativity, negativity was coming to the surface. So you might have felt negative and down and tired and this, that and the other. It was just clearing. It was. It's actually. It's what they were trying to do. Actually, did an opposite effect because they're, they're stupid. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they. Are. <laughs> yeah, I had some really weird dreams, like really in-depth dreams. But I went to like a. Hey. Like. Uh, do, do, do you remember me cards? Do you remember me cards? What? Do you remember me cards? Dreams. Yeah. Perform, perform miracles in them dreams and you just got to listen to them. But what was your dream? Uh, the one was, well, my my dad was there and then my stepsister was there and she was hosting some kind of like cordial event and then like it was all dress up and like she needed a host on the microphone. I told her I could host, but then she, she like didn't really say anything about it. So then I was like, well, I'm going to go and help out and like there were family members there and stuff and then everybody's in suits and we we're at this fancy hotel, but then like I like couldn't make it to the event and I like fell asleep and I couldn't wake up. But then when I woke up, I like threw up like my brother was there and he was like, Jill, you peeped in your sleep and I threw up like steel wool or something. And I was like, oh man, that's not good. And I was like, like throwing up some steel wood and wool. And then after that, um, I went to this, maybe Jill's uh, private pool, but it was like in, in the mountains and there was like, it was gorgeous and it was like a lake all to myself and I was swimming in it. And there was like, there was like, hidden mountains and doors opening and there's like garages underneath there and stuff so i would like went in this like healing pool or like lake or whatever for a, a while but yeah i think that's steel steel you were clearing <laughs> stuff that you might come in to this realm with because when you come in the normal way if they clock some high vibrational <laughs> being they they do manipulate a lot and that's well oh, it sounds like you're clearing it. So okay, well done. Yeah. Okay. The van's not come for me yet anyway. I'm still here. <laughs> the, the medical the, the psychiatrist hasn't visited me yet. <laughs> so, but he will do one day. And then I uh, check my third eye. Is that your third eye? <laughs> <laughs> it's big. <laughs> yeah, <good>. A loner. <laughs> yeah, normally you have a third eye inside your head and in the front, but you've obviously you've actually taken it out. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I have to get one of those. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a little bloodshot, though. Need some. <laughs> So I don't know. <laughs> My granddaughter found um, sunglasses with the third eye here. Oh, cool. It's sunglasses. <laughs> I love them. She gave them to her aunt. <laughs> I want a pair, though. <laughs> I made a new girly knife, too. Oh. 
you know, for the weeds outside. Yes. <laughs> that, that should be, go with you on your astral travels. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you. Reminds me of a dragon. Wow. That's cool. What is that, crystal? It is uh, resin in... Uh, yeah, resin. Some of them I put crystals in and stuff like that. Do, do you know... Made where does, people don't realize where does resin come from? It comes from the earth. You can use it just the same as crystals. Crystals are old it a lot more, a lot better. But you can still use that in spiritual things. I won't do anything like cutting people though. No, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's accessory. It's not a weapons charge. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. I know I'm not allowed to, but I'll send you some energy. I think you need some. I think you deserve some. Chris's last name. Is he on Instagram or, or? Did you say Chris? Yeah, what's his last name? Uh, Chufi. Chufi. There you go. I saw the number nine, by the way, when I send you. I don't know why. Yeah. Completely. Did we get all the, how's the bug extermination going? Okay. Insectoids are. Uh... I haven't seen any lately, actually. Good. I seen that AI, but I deleted the other day. Yeah. Mm. That was crazy. That was really crazy. I didn't even expect it. I got sold off by my team. Don't do any. Pardon the word, don't do any shit like that again while ask us to be next to you. <laughs> Isn't it? Don't they tell you off every day? No. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I do my own thing sometimes. Yeah, the AI is. Yeah, nine is, is spiritual enlightenment. You've got spiritual enlightenment. I had to Google that because I, I couldn't be bothered asking. It's nothing like, yeah, like completion, the cycle. Yeah. yeah. For nine lives, like a cat. Now you, you've got a mouse for tea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a lot of cleansing. So what does Chris want again? Uh, just any messages for him. He, he I sent $5 for him too. Um... Yeah, what was does, his... does he? He knows about this, doesn't he? He does know about this, doesn't he? Yeah. That wasn't a positive, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just got an issue about the mouse, and he wanted to burn it, and I didn't want to burn. <laughs> yeah. But then, um. Mice don't like lemons. Lemon, lemongrass, lemon oil. Okay. Lemons. Burning it would be quite smelly. Yeah. Water I, is probably better, but that's sick, so I'm only joking. Maybe a cheat, maybe a trap, a gentle trap, I don't know. Is it, I think, Chris, if it's the same one, you don't know many Chris's, do you? I might have got the wrong Chris. <laughs> I think he's at a turning point. He's in a, he's in a judgment call. And he, he's got a path. He's got to pick. He's got mm -hmm. to pick a path. And he's in indecisive at the moment, and that's why he's asked the question because he wants to pick which which way to go. 
Well, that's his choice, though. Yep. He's a little younger, but like a Does that make but... sense? Does that make sense? Everyone... What I did, I got I, I got him on the road with two two porks. Yeah. See that that's what you wanted. That's not even. I did some psychic stuff. <laughs> Good. He's got to take care of his body. Archangel Michael is with him. I wonder if he's connected. And he's got to lose the odd friend that uh, isn't his vibration anymore and, and, and get new friends that are vibration. And that's probably what the uh, choice is. Yeah. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sorry about Michael being behind it, helping him, but some people, he's got to help someone. Oh, oh yeah, he needs some assistance. Cool. He's got to take care of his body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Properly. He's got there's something wrong with his body there. He's got to take care. He's, he's got to look at it. Oh no, he's got to take care of his body. It's not to mean there's something wrong, but he's got to take care of his body. Yeah. Or it, it could manifest into something. Does that make sense? Yeah, we've been talking about it like every day. Drinking oh, water okay. and diet and sleep and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I feel like he's like, to like Poseidon, like Neptune. Any insight on that? Zeus, <laughs> is that your brother? No, not Zeus. Hmm? Facebook? No, I was asking Zeus in the group if that's his brother. Hmm? I was asking Rick, Zeus, if, if um, he's related to him. <laughs> his brother like Poseidon or? Oh. I have no idea. Yeah. He has like a staff, like his veins look like the, the Poseidon trident, and he's uh. Well, he's the water one. Zeus was the one up on. Uh... Oh no, I'm asking Rick, who's Zeus, if Chris is his brother Poseidon, if he knows. Oh, that's why I need his picture because yeah. I don't remember what he looks like. Okay. Uh, um. Let's see. One moment. You know how many people we see? Yeah. Your picture is fine. We know what you look like. You remember me? <laughs> I don't know. You're in, in black at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I've given you a fourth card. New beginnings. If he picks the right path, look for new beginnings. A change. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not sure with the with the Poseidon. Poseidon, I, I once a uh, trickster actually pretended to be Poseidon. Really nice being Poseidon, but I knew it was a trickster. Uh, I'm getting water, but I'm not sure about if it's Poseidon. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Robert. It was nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, thank. I just wanted to say goodbye. Thank. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed. Uh, how, how do you feel now? I feel better. I really do. I feel a lot lighter and my pain went away. So I thank you so much. I told I told you I sent sent you guys a little bit extra on PayPal. And I'd love to have you guys on my show whenever you want. You know, like uh we'd cool. love to do that. Actually. We yeah. would love to do that. That'd be that would be a lot of fun. Um just contact us. Um should I get your information from Jill? Is that yep. okay? Yep. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good night. You too. Right. Take care. Yeah. Uh, you too. Okay, now I remember what Chris looks like. Yeah. Okay. Poseidon. I've got water linked to him. I'm not sure if it's beside him. I he was a merman. Cool. He's like an aquaman, I used to call him. Bright, shiny, blue yeah. light coming out of him. Yeah. That's what I've seen, but that was a trickster, but obviously tricksters copy him, don't they? <laughs> Nimru or something, Namor, Atlantean. He has um he has a a being following him around right now. It's and it's not a it's not a good being. Yeah. Uh, um, he's got a dark being following him around. Some ones don't like me. Is he tired a lot? Yeah, a lot lately, and it's not. Uh, there's something sucking his energy. Yeah. <clears throat> 
I'm getting it. Have a look at the gods with water, but not Poseidon. Yeah. Uh, what else? I was getting some else. Oh, I forgot. I've seen them like in Mayan, uh, like Mayan or temple or uh, ancient. ancient I, and, I, you know? I'm getting, I'm getting a mermaid as well. So he's well into water. Mermaid. Yeah. Don't know if it's male or female. I can't tell, yeah. to be honest. What about the energies? I still can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> unclear for himself, I think too. Hmm? I think he's made it unclear for himself on his path. Not supposed to be clear for some things. So he gets, a, I think, so he gets a different perspective to learn something. I think he was like a. His aspects was like a god of water. Not Poseidon. Poseidon wasn't really a god of water. So. Mm -hmm. I'd Google that. I don't know the name. Mm -hmm. Just getting the info. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hello. So what's the shadow that's following him? This thing that's... Um... Um, Right. Like, Bill. 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 I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to work it out. It's it's taking it to his energy. Or maybe is it AI as well? I don't know, but I can feel it. It's actually, I can feel what he's feeling. It's like an opposite of, of this uh, being. It's like an opposite. You get what I mean by that? I don't even know what I mean. Uh, Is it connected to the greys? No. Older than that. And it's to do with pyramids. I'm getting pyramids, big pyramids. Machu Picchu. I don't know what you mean. That's uh, Peru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're really big. Yeah, there was a... the Andes Mountains. Yeah, there was. Um, I started. Seeing some pier like a staircase, but it was pyramids going up a, a staircase, and then it was almost like a, a white looking tower on the top of it. It's down in where the pyramids are, but I saw a being that looked kind of like a pair, um, an ancient being that looked kind of like him when he was asleep. And then I started saying the exact things and seeing the exact things. And then they were on YouTube like one minute later. <clears throat> and I was like, wasn't that weird? I was like, did you just hear that? And he's like, yeah. Um, was like, that sounds just like Machu Picchu. That's what, that sounds just like Peru. The stairs. The pyramid. Peru have got three pyramids that are linked to Orion, aren't they? Mm.
Yeah, I could do with a picture of him, really, can't we? It's you so difficult. See. I can <laughs> see. I can see, but uh, is that him? I don't look like him, does it? He he drew me this. Like he's he's been drawing macabres and stuff. I've been trying to. That's the pyramid, isn't it? Yeah. He's really talented with this kind of stuff. Um, he made me a cube too. It's really cool. Um, this is the cube. Yeah, that looks like a pyramid again. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I like that one a lot. Do you ever open L with it if you move it around? Uh, L raiser. L raiser. <laughs> no, healing cube. Thank you very much. <laughs> that could that that might he might have channeled that. That might be an that might be an open door. It looks like Metatron, Metatron's cube, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, to me it looked like L raiser's cube too. But it might be a good thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just said like draw, you know, draw some stuff on a cube for me, and he's really talented at drawing like mathematical lines and uh, symbols. Hey, have you ever put that on your third eye when you got meditating? <laughs> I tried to put it on the areas of my body that needed healing. Yeah, put it on your third eye and meditate and see what you see. You can't do it with on here, but in your own time. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I'm sure you're crazy. I wish I was as crazy as you, and I'm crazy. <laughs> you are. Mm. We're not crazy. Mm -hmm. We're just uh, just it's just our journey. is it is an interesting, fun one. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's funny how he's, I said pyramids and he's drawn pyramids. Uh, that to me is, that's coming channeled, that's channeled info. He's coming out with that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Did you take care of that shadow or that thing that was following him? No, I don't know. I need, that's why I wanted more of a picture of him, but... Oh, he, he had a dream too that he was in an area where they had a fence around these like crazy cats. And they, he knew that he had to keep the cats inside the fence and the cats were just like crazy or something. But it, that's around the time you and David did a thing and you're talking about them sending frequencies to the animals. But he did have that dream before you guys, like right before you said it. So I thought that was interesting. Hmm. What I should have done, I should have got some oil and done some scrying. <laughs> but that sounds dark to me. So. Yeah, cook it on my stove now. <laughs> hmm. That shadow it's following him is wants to do what dark beings do, but it, I think he's stopping him a bit. I think he's got a lot of power that he might not know about. Yeah. Especially channeling. Well, he's, he's quite awake because yeah. all the information is coming from outside. So all these symbols are in his head and around are probably protecting him. Yeah. Yeah, he asked me to be his mentor probably like 10 or 10 years ago or so. And um, he was always... he. He's a little younger than me. I'm 42 or 43, I don't know, and then 43,000 million. And he's like 30. Yeah. Only so a now, million. Yeah. But um, he's always been kind of advanced and for at least, yeah, for a male too and, and, and interested in the information. And he's pretty, 
pretty uh, smart himself. He just has to like apply himself, but I guess it's like when when he's ready or activated. But I think he's getting that. He's way. he's already activated. To, he's all that stuff that's coming through is activated. Yeah. Yeah. He might not accept it, but it's channel stuff and it's protection symbols. Yeah. And he he could be. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. He could even be connected to Metrotron, actually. Could be connected, couldn't he, Deb? I was thinking that. Yeah. Um, he drew, I'm trying to think, he drew a pretty amazing picture that was almost like a Metatron cube. If I can see where it is. Yeah, when you yeah. said it before, Deb, I hadn't picked that up, but I'm picking that up now. Yeah. That's what you said, didn't you? It's like what? Metatron's cube. Yeah. So that was like intuition straight away. Yeah. I didn't pick that up. Here, here it is. Um, he drew this. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you know you what you could do with that? You could get a load of crystals, put it on your next to your table in your bedroom, put a load of crystals, activate it, and you've got a crystal grid already. Should I put, put the crystal drawing? Yeah, put a, a rock crystal in the middle. Okay. Or or have you got a pyramid crystal? Yeah. I've got I've just got the right one actually. Yeah, I can't see yeah it. cool, like you can yeah. you can different ways and stuff and uh, it's very mm -hmm. impressive. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That's definitely got a lot of energy in that. I'm just tapping myself into that. Yeah. Feels like it's three dimensional as well. <laughs> Even though it's a drawing. It's weird. All right, that's great. That's lovely, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I haven't got the patience to do anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> so. he does, um, but it's it focuses on him, so that's good. And he's yeah. very beautiful. Oh. That picture you sent, is that Chris? Yes. Yeah. Got a lot of power, a lot of knowledge. I think he's also got his own demons as well. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah. Jillian, are you still there? Yeah. Hey, it looks like he's got demons as well. You know, his own shadow and demons and stuff like that. Yeah, he's got Scorpio. Like, he's Scorpio. He's got a dark side for sure. And then I bring the, um, you know, optimism and joy. He loves the pessimism, but it's a yeah. give and take. You know, with each other balance. He's got his sting then, like me. I'm a Scorpio, I know. I, it's weird because I'm a Sagittarius, but I, I didn't know the archer is like aimed at the scorpion. <laughs> like the scorpion. Sag, Sagittarius is, is that yours? 
December what, 5th. What? Yeah. Hmm? December 5th. Sagittarius. Yours is really, yours is the 13th planet, isn't it? His birthday yours... is November 13th. Yeah, no, yours is the 13th uh, zodiac sign that they've hidden. Yeah. That, that... That's it. For entertainment purposes only, before I say that. <laughs> My YouTube take that. But it, there's supposed to be 13 zodiac signs, and yours is the 13th. Have you ever checked that? I think I've, t I've told you this before, and I? Maybe, or like yeah. Opitopus or something? Opitopus? Yeah, that's it. Confucius. Yeah. How do you say it? Ophucius. Ophucius. Yeah, so yours is a bit of Sagittarius <laughs> and a bit of Scorpion. There you go. Yeah. Um. What is me Chris's connection? And like, he always thinks I'm gonna kill him. Is that the demon, or, or like, did I? Did we have a past life, or were you? He just knows you well. That's all. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. it's uh, this is shadow just manipulating voices and said, if he ever gets dark, just tell him to think through his art. Yeah. All right. It's like, I'm going to actually, some people will disagree with this, and I do. I believe that ego is your shadow and your brain, and that's your ego. Now, if we talk, if we listen and work through our art, we don't get that sort of crap. So, yeah. 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 I think I can... Even though everyone else says about ego is true, I think it's a mixture of shadow and brain. Yeah. Yeah. Embrace yeah. your shadow. Yeah, I can work with the dark. It's not a big deal, so I think it's uh, it's no problem no problem for me to be around the dark, and I can handle it. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for putting me. You're welcome. Thank you, Julian. Yeah. You look. Your energy looks better today than the last few yeah. years. It you seems actually look really better. happy. Yeah. Which makes a change. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah Mr. Oh, Joker. Today was a really good day. <laughs> mm. what, what do you think my nickname is? Gabriel talk, tells me when I see him. I see him very rarely, but what did he call me? What do you think? What, the comedian? Clown. He calls me clown. <laughs> I don't know why. You have pixies around you? Pixies? What, me? You look like, yeah, you feel like pixie energy. Like, I won't be surprised. <laughs> laughing, mushrooms, little mushrooms, dancing well, around. Yeah, I've connected <laughs> with the plant beings of mushrooms. I've, I've connected to their spirits, so I won't be surprised. That doesn't mean I'm having it. I've just connected to it spiritually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're part of your helper beings, like little yeah. mushroom beings. They're, they're great for stopping spells and curses and dark stuff. Okay. They, they they don't like that sort of stuff. So uh, mm -hmm. I connected in the uh, I had a meeting with them because they'd never seen how I've used it. They, no one's ever used their energy like I use it, and they they wanted to talk about it. And so I've connected. I didn't sign anything up. They wanted me to sign. I don't know. I'm not. I don't sign to up to anything. But yeah, I get that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Magical people and beings actually. I when I when I saw some. The tree, the tree spirits. They were like, they were like Mayan faces on uh, plant, uh, you know, trees. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Wacky. That was wacky. I've and I wasn't that. on it. I wasn't on anything. <laughs> so I tripped without having any of that. <laughs> so, so does Rick. Rick sees the the um, yeah. fairies and all that too. Mm. But the tree spirits were very, very weird. They were like sunken heads, you know, from Beetlejuice, but stuck on trees. <laughs> I've seen yeah. that. I've seen yeah. African faces like protruding off of trees. Yeah. A lot. A lot of African faces. Yeah. The, near, uh, well, next town from us, I was delivering to a customer and he had a tree facing a cemetery with a full face on it. And I thought, wow. And I connected. And it was an evil spirit that the tree trapped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it actually oh. trapped, it, trapped it. And uh, <laughs> the tree kept on saying, it'll be good enough 100 years, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
But that was crazy. That was crazy. This is my aunt who died. Oh, uh, she's. This was a very young picture of her. Oh, so she's really my cousin. My, but because she's my mother's age, we always called her aunt. And um, so I'm. We're at the wake and the funeral yesterday, and I and I could feel her energy next to me. So I said, Muriel, you need to go to the light, or you know. The, the real light. <laughs> the real light, yes. Yeah. I said, you need to go home. And she said, I'm not ready yet. And I went, oh boy. So my cousin, my cousin's daughter said that uh, her daughter, so it was a great granddaughter of this woman, my of Muriel, wanted her to put a walkie-talkie in the casket because it was an open casket, Catholic, Roman Catholic, uh, wake and, and funeral yesterday. So she said, I want you to put it in Nana's casket so that I can talk to her when she's in heaven. So she said, I did this for my daughter. So there's a walkie talkie in the casket. Now the granddaughter, the great granddaughter is in Virginia. And this was in West Palm beach yesterday. So no way that, that they were close and that that, that walkie-talkie would work. But it was on. <laughs> it must have been turned on. So the Catholic priest or deacon was talking about the, the fact that there was a walkie-talkie in the casket. And that's the daughter, the granddaughter of this, of this, of uh, Muriel said that my when my daughter wants to talk to her great grandma, I want her to I I told her I would do it for her when you know she wants. So she, that's, that was her reason for putting it in there. And so the deacon says, well, you know, do we, do we have everlasting life in heaven and all this stuff. He, even, even with this, you know, with a walkie talkie in there and all of a sudden Muriel makes it make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> want to see the priest go, the priest turn pale white. <laughs> <laughs> Did she do it deliberately? <laughs> she did it deliberately. <laughs> Not once. And he, he goes, and then, so then he used it to his advantage. Do you see, you see God works in mysterious ways <laughs> and he didn't like it that he blamed God. So he <laughs> starts talking about her again and he talks about Muriel and then she does it again. And he went, <laughs> leave it. <in. laughs> I'm channeling her. So, she, so I'm channeling her. So I'm whispering to my sister about about channeling her, and um, and I'm telling her her granddaughter, who and her and her granddaughter's wife, they're a lesbian couple, and I'm telling her, and she's going, she's channeling Nana, and um, and and that's all this is going on, and they they start laughing because they were crying two minutes ago, and then I'm so I'm whispering to my sister and them, and she goes, you do know I can hear you. Muriel did this. So I said to them, she just told me, you know, I can hear you guys whispering. <laughs> Start laughing again. Oh my God. She was pulling. I mean, she was just a riot yesterday. Um, she told me to tell, I mean, she's telling me what to say to them. And I was channeling her and she was yelling at them. And you need to straighten up your act and you need to do this. And I mean, she was pulling. One of them is a big drinker. And you need to straighten up or you're going to be dead not long before, after me. And I, I'm, I'm carrying these messages to them. And they're like, she's, <laughs> she's right. She's right. <laughs> Did she think the walkie-talkie with the vicar was, what is it, a vicar? Oh, that was, was so freaking funny. Did she laugh in? <laughs> I say they leave all, it in. They all, I mean, they, they knew she was there then. I mean, it. it she she did everything at perfect timing, it, everything for what the priest, the deacon, whatever he was, was saying. It was hysterical, Phil. It was. She did it three times. Was she laughing? Yes. In the spirit she, you. she said, "I love this." She, said, <laughs> <laughs> she was my mother's best friend, and my mother is my angel. So I mean, they were both there. <laughs> <laughs> both laughing. <laughs> It was a riot. So I'm hoping that she finally went home. I have a feeling she did. But you know what she did to me? I'm driving home. 
and I'm, I, I dropped off, I, I'm going to drop off my sister at her house. Now, this is a seven and a half hour drive to get home. So I had to bring my sister who lives in the middle of the state at Lake Placid. And that was th two, an hour and a half from West Palm Beach. So I'm, I stopped at Walgreens and to see if I could get, anyway, I was trying to pick something. So I go in Walgreens, I, I lock my car everywhere I go because, you know, we've got problems here with illegals. So <laughs> I lock my car, I get back out of Walgreens and I open my car door and there's a little twig this big on my car seat. Wow. A locked car, no windows open. So she's playing games with me. I mean, it was a stick this big. A nice car seat. I would know if I was sitting on that freaking thing. <laughs> Where the hell did they come from? She do that. When uh, when my brother-in-law died, I was talking to my sister in the wake, and we were talking about seeing him in the background with his uncle, and everyone else just went, and we were having a chat about it because we both saw him. <laughs> It's funny, but the the craziest one was once a feather coming down. Me and my sister, my sister's like a bit similar to me, but she went nursing and I went spiritual. And this feather came down halfway through. That's twelve foot high. Just disappeared, just, oh. just vanished. And we were both looking, and I said, "Wow, <laughs> that's quite a crazy one." Yeah. Oh. I told her. I said, "You know, you have to let everybody walk their path, Muriel." It, you know, you can't control them from the other side. She goes, do you remember who I am? <laughs> do you, I, I actually, crazy as it sounds, I love funerals, actually. Because you, you can connect with so many of the deceased relatives that you know. Yeah. Oh, and she loved the Miami Dolphins football team. And all the kids all wore Miami Dolphins shirts for her in mm. honor of her. And so we get to, we, we leave the funeral home and we go to the cemetery and I'm walking from the car, my car, um, I'm walking in the grass towards the um, the grave site. And I'm looking, I, all of a sudden I look down and there is a ratty little uh, stocking that you hang on the fireplace at, at Christmas time. Miami Dolphin stocking sitting there. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So I pick it up and I bring it to one of the, uh, the to uh, my my cousin's daughter and i went look what jumped out at me i mean this out of nowhere it's just sitting on the grass right by the side of the road what what it, what are the odds mm. come on <laughs> i handed it to her i said this ratty thing was just jumped out at me she goes are you <laughs> she's like she knows my she'll cousin. be laughing again oh, like she'll be Staring at it, Miami Dolphins, <laughs> and they're all wearing the shirt. I mean, these—you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I, I, one of the coaches is getting buried on Monday, and we've all got to wear our judo kits. Great. I hope it's warm. <laughs> hope it's warm. All right, I, you guys. I, I'm gonna go eat. Ugh. Yeah, I, I might. Fresh. I might go to the supermarket and have some proper food. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sorry everybody. about sorry Very about beginning, well. but you got a, you you didn't get five minutes. You got many hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was awesome. Maybe, <laughs> Thank but you. maybe we'll do the same thing next month. We'll see. Mm. If you like this, let us know, and we'll do the same thing next month. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. Awesome. Maybe we'll think of something different. But uh, next month is May. Oh gosh, warm. Yeah, buddy. Mm. We'll see. Maybe something already different. May. May already. May. I I'll know. see you Monday though, right? Monday? Oh, yes. Again. <laughs> yes. Yes, you will. That's right. you? Yeah, that's me. Okay, Kimmy. <laughs> I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. We will see you Monday for your appointment. <laughs> blessings <laughs> that's wonderful i didn't realize it was you 
Yeah, I figure double whammy, right? Get to know mm. what you guys are doing and see well, all you that. Will see, you will see us Monday. I know, double whammy. Okay, love you all. Love you guys. Bye. 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 <clears throat>